this one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh... Hmm. Oh, dope. I'm not gonna find it over here. Pretty sure it's behind me. Probably something you'd always find here. Like birds or trees or... No, no, not trees. There's a lot of birds around here. Maybe? Probably something you'd always find here. Like birds or trees or... No, no, not trees. Whisper? This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. The place was swarming with pigeons. The dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen. Next day, we were crawling all over Matt. I had been looking for beats, like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the ear for music. Friends, small businesses are the backbone of America. And they have no greater champion than J. Jonah James. But they have an enemy, too. Spider. -Man. Apparently, he's been disrupting their supply chains in Harlem. Here to tell us about it is the proprietor of local restaurant Panafuerte. Buenvenidos, Camila. Eh, gracias, Senor Jameson, but there's been a misunderstanding. Spider-Man stopped the punks who were robbing us. I think your producer got confused. He kept wanting to talk to me in Spanish. Don't ask me why. Ugh, Jared's taking a course, which he's clearly gonna fail. But having a Spider-Man in your neighborhood Fighting criminals in the streets. That can't be good for business. Actually, it's great. We got tourists coming in, hoping to see him. And when something gets damaged, my husband fixes it. His name's Jesus. He's a contractor. His business is called Y'all Meet Jesus. Anything gets messed up, he's your guy. <laughs> Thank you. I think we can all use Jesus right about now. Especially Jared, as soon as we cut to commercial. I said, cut the commercial! Take your medicine like a man! <sighs> Looks 
like some raft escapees blocked off a street and took hostages. No bueno. This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. You did make things better, Dad. And so will I. Spider-Man coming through. Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. Or lose them. Sounds you need's like an electric current. A current? I could cheat it with venom. <laughs> nah. Oh, that 
cool. Love how alive that feels. After I started calling my self a prowler. Met my first client right under the sun. Neon flags hard to miss, and the crowd makes it easy to blend in. She wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back at me. He never said anything. He just turned and left. He didn't know everything. Just that I was a thief. That was enough. I think he saw where we were headed long before I did. If he would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. Folks, the Beast Centers have had a rough go ever since their founder, Martin Lee, turned out to be the mad bomber known as Mr. Nick. But I believe in the Beast Centers, because I knew them. The brave woman who literally gave her life to keep them going. So I was distressed to hear the Harlem branch recently suffered a damaging flood. This sound always feels like someone celebrating, even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so too, so we had to include it. A sound that tells time. Okay. That's not it. I think it's back there. Sounded like a celebration. Watch it! Find it over here. Time celebrating something that does both. I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying, but he believed me for a while. At least pretended to. Things got complicated between them. Uh, someone says a feast truck is getting robbed nearby. Hey, 
Dana fans. For the last few weeks, Harlem has had a series of bad breaks. The attack on CJ Walker Park to the Spider-Man intervened to protect... This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. Chimes. That sounds good. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. God paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up, take everything in his wallet. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Shot kept my word. You deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and dad would have stayed close. I can't imagine ever turning my back on my family. fun with this one. I had a repeat client I always met here. Got real used to waiting, listening, hearing this sound running on a tight schedule. A sound on a schedule? close enough to record that horn. Watch it! Sound of something on a schedule. Whoa, alliteration. That's right. Clients I met here used to take the ferry over from Jersey. Working for him was good money. Until it got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, but that a thief was making it big in New York. And your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him. Where he caught me. That'd be me. I... I don't know what I'd do. But that can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't Dad. 